Okay, today is March 27th, 2017, and right now at 9.40 p.m., we have a temperature of 52 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. The uh, relative humidity is 44%. The barometer is reading 29.95 inches, and the uh, dew point is 31 degrees, and we had uh, clear windy conditions all day. Actually, the wind picked up pretty strong around uh, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, there were some uh, puffy uh, cumulus clouds also lingering in the skies. Uh, those did not last long once the uh, wind picked up. And as we can see here in the uh, western U.S. water vapor loop, we have a low pressure system right here. This is a gale force system spinning counterclockwise. We can see that right over uh, southern Nevada and northwest uh, color, uh, Arizona. But notice what's happened right here in this uh, seven and one half hour loop. We have just a magical high pressure blockade appear right here. You see that a dark area filling in that a very narrow channel. It's like an electronic wall, I call that. And what that's doing is that is blockading this jet stream flow. Now there's also high pressure installed right here, and that's why we see all this uh, clockwise movement. There are chemtrails being sprayed throughout this uh, moisture field as it moves towards California. And we see that uh, blockade right there. Well, that is that is stopping this flow, this jet stream flow, from merging into this low pressure system. Now, uh, high pressure flows to low pressure, so we would expect to see this uh, moisture field to, flowing unimpeded in towards a, a low pressure system. But what's happening here? This is a man-made transmitter-generated blockade right there. And that is blocking and stopping this flow from feeding into that system right there. So we've got high pressure spinning clockwise right here, and then we have low pressure spinning counterclockwise. And, of course, that generates the wind uh, right through that uh, uh, venturi. This generates a uh, pressure differential right through, uh, right through here, and that's blowing south, and that's why we had all that wind. Right now it's calm because this is moving away. Uh, people out near the Colorado River, uh, Parker, Arizona, Las Vegas, I'm sure you guys are getting some wind right now. And right now it's about 9.45 p.m. in Los Angeles. So uh, as this thing moves uh, to the east, this high pressure will follow it. And, of course, uh, this blockade right here will follow the entire uh, weather system as well to uh, prevent this moisture from feeding that. All right, let's look at this in the... Uh, in the uh, infrared map, we can see that channel of uh, uh, built in right here between this weather system and the jet stream, which is flowing in. So none of this moisture is getting anywhere near this. It's all evaporating right in that area. Of course, the IntelliCast Doppler map, let's uh, zoom out a little bit. Just taking a look at the uh, this manipulation occurring uh, north of uh, Washington State, we can see a transmitter, ground transmitter, which has chopped up a large. A section of rain uh, up in that area near Vancouver. Now, if we back out of here, we can see that there's really no rain in the entire state. There's some uh, rain here in the uh, eastern desert area where this low pressure system right here is moving away. They're actually getting some rain out of this, but we didn't get any rain. But we do see a little bit of uh, precipitation right here in the eastern uh, desert areas in California eastern uh, Mojave Desert right out here. But other than that, there's no rain. Okay, a little rain in uh, Oregon near Portland. That's it. So let's take a look now at the uh, northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see that area of high pressure blockading uh, the jet stream. It's actually pushed the uh, jet stream north. Uh, here, the last video I did, we showed the jet stream moving right into California. And of course, they had to take uh, drastic measures and actually blow apart. They superheated that, that jet stream as it moved right into California. We saw that on the last video. So what they've done now is they pushed the jet north. And we can still see that this is now uh, moving into Oregon and diving down. If you look at the jet stream map uh, right here, we can see that. We have the jet stream map right there. And we can see the uh, flow pattern down through. Oregon and diving down south through California. 
and of course there's high pressure right on top of this area here right adjacent to that low pressure and that's where all that wind is coming all right so uh, that's basically what's going on today uh, you see a low pressure system spinning right up here and we have some moisture out here moving towards Mexico there's not a whole lot really to report we're supposed to have warmer much warmer weather uh, tomorrow and Wednesday and throughout the week up in the 80s now here's the uh, west <coughs> central water vapor map and we can see that channel built in right here this uh, high pressure that's been installed to uh, prevent this uh, jet stream from uh, flowing into that low pressure system right there which is uh, moving east over uh, utah right now and this is the uh, infrared map okay now here's the surface analysis map we can see high pressures <coughs> pardon me depicted over the uh, eastern pacific just off of california we can see all that right there Earlier today, there was a low indicated right out, right, just right near the uh, edge of this map. That's moved east a little bit over uh, Utah. And we can see a couple of lows here. We have high pressure that's following this uh, frontal system, which is going to overtake that area of this cold front. We have a storm out here, 984 millibar. This is way out in the West Pacific, uh, moving to the uh, east, northeast. Now we have the uh, MODIS Today map, which is uh, rather interesting. If we uh, go back to the, uh, let's go back to the middle zoom level and take a look. It's much more interesting. You can see a area of this area right here. This is kind of interesting. This uh, shows what looks to be an area that which was a hit transmitter generated a high pressure dome right here. We can see that uh, circular shape. Okay, so there's not, uh, there was not any uh, chemtrail activity that I could spot today. Uh, of course, I was indoors much of the time today. But if anybody else spotted any chemtrails, post a message on the uh, channel. Uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to see uh, some chemtrail activity because of the fact that this uh, weather system is moving east. And we do have uh, moisture diving down through California. And as this blockade moves along with this system to prevent uh, this uh, moisture field from merging, we're going to see all this diving down uh, and moving right into uh, California, right down into our area. So we should expect to see uh, some chemtrail, uh, chemtrails in the skies tomorrow. That's going to be my uh, forecast. So we'll just leave it right here, and uh, we'll do another update tomorrow. That's it.